What's up guys? Terry again. I want to start talking about some uh, real good information stuff today. Now, if you can find the defects in your case, and you'll understand a little bit here when I go through this, if you can understand the defects in your case, and there's many, many defects that that's possibly could be found, I'm just going to go over the affidavit today on this video. Now, now what you have to understand is um, you can do an affidavit, really just called affidavit at the top. Now, I suggest that you learn the basics for writing an affidavit. It's not that hard if you do your research and you have to start doing things and you have to start taking control and you have to start understanding. That's why everyone's losing. They wait until after they're in trouble to learn these things. So you look up everything about an affidavit and how to write an affidavit. Now, now don't think you can go in just a day and read these few little things in a couple, a couple articles and go do this. You need to get samples. You need to look at all the nuts and bolts of doing an affidavit. It's, it's very important. You need to know, uh, you know the basic things, really, in anything. Now, a basic affidavit that you're going to put into a court, if it isn't rebutted point for point, then they lose. And if you find a flaw, and I'm going to give you a suggestion here, then you can put in an affidavit, swear to it properly, and when they don't respond, they lost. You give them a non-response. Now, it must include, you know, who, what, when, where, how, you know, those, those biggies. And, you know, it has to be, you know, a mere statement of the violation of the code is a defect. For example, uh, maybe a statute violation which it is only intended for government employees. Now, ain't that a good one? Because most of them are only, they only write stuff for government employees and you believe it's you. Go look it up. Um, you know, uh, and, and your, your affidavit must be signed um, properly and there's different different um, swearings that you can do so you, you know look at that very very carefully the things that they do to us has to be signed um, it has to allege the damage or the violation or the debt etc and it has to be clear it can't be vague it can't be ambiguous and that would be a flaw and the flaw another flaw which I just mentioned was that it might be for government employees only and you bring this to their attention in this affidavit and you don't try to do a long drawn out affidavit just stick straight to what you're trying to say and those affidavits have been very powerful I've had several people the last couple of days call me back saying that they put in just a simple affidavit and it messed, it messed them all up because no one answered to it. Plus they have to do their complaint properly and they never do those things that are supposed to be in an affidavit or a complaint. An affidavit is supposed to be attached to it. So that's what I have today. Um, if you find this interesting please subscribe to my channel below. Um, if you would like to become a member or to have me do a process for you or you get the documents on CD and do it for yourself, please contact me. Uh, my number and everything and my PayPal and all of that, my information is listed below with my address. Have a good day. It's the 5th of July and hope you enjoyed the 4th. We'll talk to you soon.